and we're live! Uh, hello everyone, this is a draft video by me and we have a special guest today which is uh, Ruben Snyderman. Me! And uh, we're going to do a draft together for you, so we'll be discussing the picks and then uh, playing the matches and see where we get. Uh, this is to provide a, a new perspective because you probably know how I draft Gate Crash by this point, but um, Ruben drafts this very differently and we'll let you know what we agree on what we don't agree on. So uh, the draft is just started, and uh, this is our first booster. Uh, to um, uh, Ruben is unfamiliar with the beta, so I'll be explaining uh, some of the features to him while ah, we go. Whatever. But uh, you just pick cards, and that's it. It's a bit unexpected these results, but maybe we should pick a real card, like uh, Killing Glare. Okay, the, um, Killing Glare is, I think, obviously the best card in this booster. Um, the only cards that are uh, somewhat first pickable at this point are, are basically the Basilic of Screech or maybe the Fervent Haven if you are dead set on taking the 5 color ramp deck. But, um, I thought you were, uh, you yeah. were always like a 5 color Fervent Haven first pick, right? But yeah. uh, in this case I, I think I'll just have to agree with Ruben here that Killing Ooh. Hairs is uh, head over her shoulders the best card in this boost and they're going to pick it. Yay! So I move here. The, the difference between the beta and the regular version is that you can move all the cards oh, around awesome. all you want. I already prefer the beta. So uh, yeah, it's 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 great. Oh, and another black removal. It's our lucky day. Yeah, it's uh, what I consider the best removal card in the set, Crazy Spectacle. Um, there are some alternatives. There's a frontline medic in here, which what? is a really good picture. Uh, somebody picks something over it, and here <laughs> comes one of the side effects of the beta. It shuffles your cards. So uh, this is an uncommon, and this is an uncommon, and this is an uncommon. So he picked a common or a foil over the frontline medic. I hope it was a foil, otherwise he was just an idiot. Yeah, it's it's frontline medic really is good. The question is, is it better than Grizzly Spectacle to go without killing Glare? Um, well, I prefer to keep our options open. Although the mirror, I hate the mirror, so I don't actually I don't cross it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I, I respect the sentiment, but like you say, I, I like to keep my options open. Although frontline medic isn't really a closer on your options because it's on a single white and it really is quality. So I think picking it over busy spectacle is, is in no way wrong. Uh, but I'll leave this one to you. And then I'm gonna pick the spectacle. There we go. At least we have decent removal. Um, Feel free to object in the comments. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> let, let us know and, and maybe we'll respond this time. <laughs> maybe we'll actually respond this time. Okay, Let's so see. this booster is, is sadly disappointing. There are, um, I think the best cards are the Smite and the Wojak Halberdiers. Yeah, uh, not gonna pick them, right? no, the the Halberdiers is, is definitely off color for us. We could go. So, how about this rare? Huh? Well, what does it do? Bring mm. It seems okay ish, but a 7 mana. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I've played it a lot. Uh, okay. I, I really like it. Uh, especially in the slower Orphan deck where you just hold the line with the Defenders and the Extort cards and then you finally get. 5 power creature that's hard to block and it, it brings an ally to the battlefield no. from the graveyard. So it's, it's a decent finisher, but as you say, it's 7 mana, it's really late. Hmm. Um, and sometimes it's just stuck in your hand while you can't cast then it. Then you die. So about the Demir Charm, what do you think about it? Uh, I think Demir Charm sucks. Yeah. Because it's blue and black. <laughs> okay. So uh, the rare yeah, still? Yeah, I mean well, uh, we're running out of time, so we'll <laughs> pick it here and <laughs> see where it goes. Oh, another black removal. <laughs> Our life is so tough. Yeah, we have, we have the power flash here. We're gonna play monocolor, uh, Job. How about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> not against playing mono black, <laughs> but, but th there's really no reason to do so. It's, it's really cheap to get in either blue or white. So. Yeah, um, I agree. I've actually, uh, at some point, if, if there was no before flash, I would probably pick the guild nature. But, uh, I think the guild nature is really good, but you, you just as with Beamer Charm, he has the disadvantage of being blue, blue or black. Yeah. Um, I think the Sky and Legionnaire uh, and the Court Denizen are a bit of a sign that there are no heavy Boros Drafters on our right. Yeah. So um, we'll probably be feeding our left guy some Boros cards and he'll be As long them. as the black creeps and flowing yeah, as well. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. I think the Power Flash is a perfect pick, pick here. Yeah. Um, if we had taken the Frontline Medic, I think I would prefer the Pathetic Prism over it. Just so we can uh, we can fix it with yeah. the mana colors. Yeah, I'm going to probably take the Citizen. But <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay, so we have another removal heavy booster with the, the death approach and the angelic edict coming pretty late. Uh, there's also a key rune and Battle Switch Spy yeah, as second best card. Uh, there's, there's still a good Boris creature in here, so our neighbor is going to be pretty happy with us. But that said, there, are, there are still are other playables. There is also the Denizen, so this was a pretty you good booster. We should discuss the four that we may want to pick since it's yeah. pretty close actually. 
Uh, well, I think we can discount the keyword. We don't even know for white yet, and uh, I think all okay. the keywords in the set are a bit downgraded. Yeah, so I think we can also free. downgrade the death approach, and it's a bit overkill in my opinion. Yeah, but so either the edict or the spy. Yeah, and I think the edict is quality wise a lot better, but the spy is on color and a decent creature. Yeah, I think I prefer the spy with the edict. Yeah, I, I, I think I would take the spy here as well. Okay. Um, going into white just for the edict is yeah. not wrong, but this is actually our first creature. I mean, it's some creature that's important. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, another there's spy. Yeah, now um, there's suddenly uh, um, a cynic card that is pretty good. But yeah, uh, that's that's a great ingress. Although yeah. I, I think this guy has been losing value a lot over time. Why is that? Um, because he seems really impressive with his three power flying and trample for just three mana. Mm -hmm. But there are there are a lot of small flyers in this set which can just trade with him for minimal damage. There are there are also decks filled yeah, with things like Silica Screecher and, and the Bellasquid Spies. Yeah. And they just they just own him. And he really sucks at blocking in an aggressive format <laughs> like this. <laughs> Uh, he, he's going to trade at best, and usually he's just going to jump. But yeah, uh, he's still pretty good at uh, evolving all your other creatures. He's, he's, he's still pretty good, especially yeah. because most of the evolved creatures are um, high toughness instead of <laughs> high power. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> We're really in a good <laughs> color, at least. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, there's a nice swine, and uh, yeah, we're going to pick the default. I'm, I'm amazed <laughs> that, that there's a second pick swine in here, but, yeah, uh, yeah. but we're going to take our flesh in there. Is this the boost that we open? No, it's, it's our second oh, pick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And this this will be the eight pick. So finally, the quality is going down right now. There's still a person. There's still mono color with a person. Ding. <laughs> yeah, that, that we might take the Night's Watch if yeah. you want to. If you already had the Angelic Edict or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, since we're just at this point, we uh, keep our options open. We'll yeah. just take the person and then uh, be done with it. Th this Ooh, was shit. <laughs> This was the boost we opened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we got a mono black, then this shade is really good, job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's not like any of the other cards are going to exactly. make this deck at this point. So yeah. ma maybe the Nasquet Commandos, but we can pick up one of those. Oh my god. And Do you wow. Want <laughs> I, I, I played all of these cards in my deck at one point. <laughs> exactly. There are five playables. Oh my god. Uh, Think another shape or do you? Yeah. Well, the, the, the shape is okay. If, if we're going mono black, it's probably going to be very good. Yeah. But if we're not, then I think the you know, force would be better. We um, already have two four drops. Right? Yeah, we yeah. have two spies. So, so we can gamble on the shape and see what we get from there. We have uh, a really decent setup already, and it, it doesn't really hurt to have another color in your deck, especially if you can get some. Yeah, exactly. So if the other really color is a splash, then it's still pretty good. Huh? Yeah, um, this, this is pretty empty. Yeah, it probably takes still the breath tissue to cut it a bit. I mean. Yeah, it's it's um it's, it's, it's okay. Made. It's, it's not not even unplayable. So we can just uh, I'm, I'm going to rip out this spring madness here to give some some deluded mill player sure. less of a chance. Yeah, and well, we'll just take the black creature here. Yeah. Ah, first non-black card, job. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm so disappointed. Well, we already had a person that's technically non-black. No, okay. so we already have twelve playable cards. That's pretty good. Yeah, well <laughs> if you count the horror okay, sorry, and then enough, enough. this is uh, Ooh, there's a Boris Wagner in here. This th that goes great in mono black. <laughs> well, the alternative is the Death Cult Rogue. Yeah. Um, okay, that's kind of sucky. So this is this booster is the is it, it's pretty deep actually. There are a lot of playable cards in here. <laughs> they're just not in our colors. We have the our color. Yeah, we have to <laughs> choose between the Gut Skull and the Death Cult Rogue. So I wouldn't mind just taking the Wagner here. Uh, even if you don't play it, it's um, it, it's still not in an opponent's hands, and it is a really nasty card to play against. Actually, for if, if this would be a Poto, I would have picked the Rogue, since uh, we already have two shades, mono black, blah blah blah, and then triple white. You're not uh, gonna. Yeah, gonna it's it's it. it's hard, but um, if you're gonna if you want to go for money, uh, feel free to pick the Ragnar. It's uh, it's your call. Well, it's um, it's not about the money. I mean, I, I wouldn't love to ask you to, do, to come by. <laughs> oh, it. you're so good, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but and, and I, I, I'm not opposed against uh, taking the death cult rogue. Okay. It's just um, at this point, I'm really still leaning towards making this an Orzhov deck if we get a chance, and I'd play Reckoner as a six prop in the Orzhov deck. Um, but if we're going to try and experiment with this mono black creation, then we might sort of stick with the deck. I don't think the deck will end up mono black, but for now. No, there's uh, there's uh, a huge yeah, candidate okay. here for not being mono black. Okay, uh, that uh, card is, I think. Easily the best card here. So. Yeah, this is. Uh, I think Ground Assault has a. Uh, it's, it's about as good as the Earth of Charm, but it's <laughs> not in our colors. So, <laughs> so I'll just take the Earth of Charm and. Uh, easy peasy. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a good card. And then here we have the choice basically between a Syndicate Enforcer and um, Syndicate Guards. Yeah, then I prefer the 
to two. Yeah, I, I think it's better, especially with, with the with the boat of removal we already have. Right, right. Uh, we can easily take out the blocker and have him deal three damage. Yeah, we kill everything and we beat the mid to death with a free turn. Yeah, and then and if we manage to keep the, the mono black and the denizen in, then we really can just get the intimidator. So bad. you want a dead approach, a smite, or a good that's still really up? Well, I don't think I want to smite at this point. You don't have any blockers. Because, <laughs> well, well, there are some creatures that aren't particularly good in attacking in the early games, so they can block. Yeah, but um, we already, have, we, so we already have so much removal that I don't see the need for a situational special removal. Yeah. We don't have um, any two drops yet, so maybe no, the spell uh, is actually... Uh, that's a good point for the gutter scope, mm -hmm. but with already five removal spells here, I don't mind picking the dash approach and upping the removal card. Yeah. Um, I, I think we're going I to get gutter scouts anyway. I, I feel a bit the same about the Dutch approach actually, so yeah, there's something to say about both cards. I don't... Uh, it's pretty close. And I, think. Then, uh, I think we'll just have to take the scope. Yeah, I, I think, think, uh, uh, think a two-drop is now more important for the deck than... Uh, yeah, I Alright. Uh, and here we have the all-powerful illusionist bracers. Oh, oh, it is what's not to I mean, that's yeah. double hexproof on our heart. Can we equip removal to double that? Yeah, if we make it a creature. Okay. And I think it has been done in before. In that case, we're gonna pick the three two extra Yeah, there's uh, there's some very good Simic cards still coming by. So. And the great also. So what what white cards do we now have? Only yeah, only Orchid Charm. Charm. We, we could. Could we take go for the Sapphire Drake and splash it as easily as we could Orchid Charm. There was a lot of coming by in the first booster from our right. And um, and we already have. We drops, yeah. yeah, we we have a prism, so we can splash two colors. Both, yeah. um, and yeah, the Drake I is a good finisher. Okay, then uh, let's pick the Drake. Well, we'll pick it. Mm, <laughs> oh, with the Ooze Flux, the combo! Yeah, right. there's, uh, <laughs> there's uh, again a lot of good uh, good Simic cards. There's a, a gate in here that's completely off color if we want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's not the way to go. That's so um, two, three, I yeah. I just picked these the guild mage out of this because the guild mage yeah. is a good card and there's nothing in this booster that's going to make oh, our. I've played uh, the street slide the uh, ruffian. Uh, well, I've played him, but um, he sees uh, a three mana cut skull. <laughs> so I'm not really excited about having to have him, and since we, we already have seven cards that could make our deck, so we're we're ahead of schedule. And uh, I don't mind giving up a slate street ruffian just to yeah, hate out a semi mage. I'm not gonna so say that we're gonna be sure of playing this. Of course. Okay. I just took it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, see that. No, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, hands of binding. I have the first pick hands of binding. I think it's what? a really good card. But it's um, it would be a splash in this deck, and that's um, yeah. I, uh, that's a bit less. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a one four wall that is pretty good at destroying <coughs> stuff, but hey, we already have a lot of removal, and there's a three to extort. Yes. Um, I think we take the extort guy, right? Yeah, we could teach another one. Yeah, two is. Uh, Oh, the best of those come by. There's, um, there's still a... <laughs> what? Another swine? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm going to pick swine first. Ah, yeah, who cares? We're going to kill the swine without that approach. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, where we get another gutter skull. Oh, do you maybe want to have the... Uh, yeah, the other we, we could opt for the card aristocrat, although I don't think we are <laughs> going to be able to play it on turn two. Not only that, we're not going to sacrifice creatures on this. Yeah, so I think we're better off with the gutter skull, yeah. dipping yeah. it as black as possible and just leaving the splashes to... Ooh, the Two one creature that we can play. Yeah, it's the, the only card that's going to make the deck at this point. Um, nice. So I think we just take it out. Yeah. Uh, an upper playable count. <laughs> so here we have. We actually have the Leyland Phantom, which we can consider if we want to do sure. our blue late We're game. We're not going to play the this Shadows Illy Disney Dragon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just take this one out of the way. Okay. Here we have um, stuff. Yeah, yeah, stuff. We'll take the card that's with multi playable. Oh, another one. I'll take that <laughs> I'm actually more, more afraid of, of the borderline situation with Hymn of Vines than, than the group we're going to get from the second one of these. What does it do, Hymn of Vines? It, it's a fog. It's a oh, fog, it's a, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's situational. Yeah. And Syndicate can be really brutal. But yeah, but <laughs> most of the time it isn't. Exactly. Now we have 21 playables and still a booster to go. Yeah, so, so we're, we're, we're good, we're on schedule. There's only <coughs> crappy stuff in the booster. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, another one that has empty booster. But, but uh, you know, you're bound to get empty boost if you're trying to force mono black. <laughs> well, I'm also willing to pick white cards that are really good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's we're out of luck for this one. I, I think the Death Support might be the best card. There is a Spy, which I think is, is uh, better, but we already have four 4 drops. And yeah, um, I think we could use it. This one, but 
I don't like playing more <coughs> than one death approach. Yeah. I, I don't like like playing any death approach. I mean, the card yeah. that he, if, if I don't know if you saw my removal list, but there were 66 cards in there, and this one wasn't even halfway up it. Ah, so I, I, I don't <laughs> mind playing it, but more than one, you could have those awkward hands with two death approach and no removal, and the creatures don't trade, and you're like, yay! Yeah, and there is a very bad, uh, well, very bad, it has some uh, bad, I uh, would uh, with, with, with the power the flash, if, if it doesn't kill the creature, then it just lingers around and the devour flash becomes useless because it's taken out. So, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll take the spy and load up on the four drops. Oh, talking about the power flash. Yeah, there's another the power flash in here. That's basically. I hope our opponents play a night watch, then they can have some value, but otherwise <laughs> they're just screwed. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, basically this, this booster is otherwise pretty empty. There's a scorch walker in here that's playable, there's of course a Verdant Haven. And and the rest of the cards are all cards that I've gladly left in my sideboard at one point or another. I mean, I never yeah, am so against Ruination Worm, I have treason, but... There's a 2-2 two -two flyer for 4, which is... Yeah, this, this card is horrible. It's horribly <laughs> overplayed as well. <laughs> it's, uh, I see so many players playing the Gargoyle just because they need another creature, and yeah, I'm well always thinking if why... If they really need a creature, I can see it happening, but I also yeah, like the card. Um, By the way, you have selected it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's it's that's, that's one of the other things with the bad. If you click on a card, you don't, like, you don't need to pick it, but you just get... Uh, this night nice border around it, and, and, and it you becomes like a it or what? And you need to either drag it to your no, play no, no. area or double click it, or if you time out it, yeah, it's yeah, it for you. <laughs> we have a shape here. Um, I think we should pick either an edict or a king's pet, maybe. Um, yeah, I think that would be better. I think the edict would be a bit better than the king's pet because it's not going to be three drop, and we're already stocked up. Well, on that was also a scenario where the. Um, the var of no, the death approach is a bit bad since it's gonna be removed from. The yeah, game. it's uh, but it's still it's a uh, top much removal. I agree. So I agree. Let's pick it. It's at, the, at this point we now have ten for playable, so we we, ha we really haven't seen any fixing come around except for the fat prism that we picked, and yeah, uh, we're going to need a bit of fixing if we want to get blue and white in our deck. Well. I think but we, we, play we either might one of them actually. We might just drop the blue if we get more cards like execution or swing. <laughs> mm. It's um, it's it's again situational removal just like smite is. So this one is a bit less situational because yeah. it doesn't rely on having a creature for us. I agree <laughs> with the pick. We, we could Something take happened. I think somebody to our right was like, no, that's too much black, let's also play with. You know, we gave a, a lot of good ores of cards. We, we passed an angelic edict, we passed no, that night was one and it passed to the left and now we're again getting it from the right side. Right? No, this is the third booster. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 okay, but no, no, sorry, yeah, you're, you're did right. Did he um, pass a lot of good odds of in the second booster? No, no, we, there was nothing in the second booster. Exactly. Oh, here we have another removal spell. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> ah, it's still a good job. We have to leave a chance for our opponent, so let's not pick it, yeah? Yeah, it's um, um, basically uh, we have uh, a 5 drop in our special color or yet another battle space pie. But if we're going to cut the blue, uh, then I and then I'm probably also the horror, then we're void on this, and I don't mind just moving to spice in 5 drop to yeah. show that the curve really isn't that bad at this point. Let's pick the spy still, it also makes the, the best approach. Yeah, if, if, you, if you take the spy then we have 2 spies on the 4 drop, 2 on the 5th drop, then that, that's good. And there's blue mana fixing and the call of yeah, the, and the call of Nightwing. Call of Nightwing is really good. Um, really? Yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really good. It's one of one of the reasons why you would go D here in this format. Okay. Uh, opening up Call of Nightwing is yeah. just um, it's not so bad with multiple spies as well. No, it's uh, and, and there are we also have here the the Death Cult Rogue and the Hard to Block Armor Transport. Now suddenly and you're giving up three white. Yeah. yeah, that's but we we could still no, consider splashing both. I think we have enough playables either way. So um, yeah, if we uh, if we take out the all this this blue stuff, then we still have three cards, so we don't have to play the call. Yeah, but yeah. it's like looking gift horse in the oh, market. There's a point. Okay. Oh, there's a mind guide. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know about this part. We already have. Let's see, four spies and and that's bad. And, uh, and, and we have these specs back the way. But it's um, it, it's I still think the focus for this card is off. I mean, we're trying to do remove everything and kill them. Yeah, we, we're still controlish, so in the end we would have use for this. But um, we have decent creatures to end yeah, the game for us. I don't think we need the, the, the mind grind. So let's pick the gate. Let's uh, pick the gate and make sure we have some fixes so we can play the call of Nightwing. Ooh, this is uh, there's a rogue here. What do you think about the uh, Bane Alley Broker? I, I think the Bane Alley Broker is pretty good. I Except that it's, that it's once again it's a Demir card and yeah, that lessens its value. But uh, I saw uh, one of the uh, 
during the game. <coughs> there was some throw that uh, thought it was the best equipment, which I thought was a bit silly. But uh. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it is disqualified for being blue and black for being the best uncommon. Yeah, so. right, yeah. But it, it is really good, and once you get it into action, you get a lot of card advantage, and uh, it really pays for itself. It's also a decent blocker, but I think in our scenario, we just need a death pull broke. Yeah, more. it's better with the gold and black as well. Yeah, of the teeth and copy cards, nothing particular. No, there's, uh, this is a bit No! no this is, uh, actually, I've had someone play right here against me in this aggressive wars deck, and I was yeah, like, it's aggressive okay. wars, but, uh, yeah, but that make you very happy. You yeah. know, in, in the end, it was a 5 5 for striking Wojak Helvetiers. But, okay. but yeah, still, it, uh, <laughs> the, the tempo it cost to, to develop that was, was enough for me to overcome easily. 5 5 4 4, then, I guess. I bet you have two of them. And then I have under the wrong picture in mind. Yeah, it's a 3-2 first strike that... Uh, yeah, if you have to get a plus 1, plus 2, then I guess... Oh, it's 4-4, it's four four, yeah, sorry. It's <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the equipment being Shield better than it is. Passage. Well, yeah, it's, it's this one or this one, because they, they these two cars actually can make decks. Yeah. So I'll just take out this one, because it's a trick. And yes! More oh, shades! another shade. That will fit it nicely. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's pick that one. We have two guys. Oh, the oh, league league comes all around. around. In the market. Okay, let's build a deck here. So, any picks looking back that you might have done differently now? Um, mm. Not really. I'm, I'm pretty okay with how this deck turned out. I mean, yeah, if, if, if I had thing. known that uh, that we would have gotten the call of Nightwing, I would have put more focus on the Demir cards, make sure we had another guild gate. But um, I think this is pretty fine. We, we're basically mono black, and we can play like two planes on the island and just fix these th these four cards. And we might not even be playing the swing because it's it's. I actually prefer to play either white or blue. I'm not both, but let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, of the zit, I just take out the removals once again. Yeah, yeah the, the beta still has some bugs about where you can move everything. <laughs> the, these are the removals, and these are the white cards. Yeah, I blue cards, and it's not worth playing the night. See how many cards? 27 minus the uh, okay is 26, right? Yeah, we have 26 cards right here. So our life is so tough. Yeah, we still need to kind of two cards. Let's see, all the Devour Flash are actually also kind of two drops, so our uh, curve is fine. Yeah, we, we can put them back on the two No, 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 it's fine, I don't care. Uh, we have a lot of four drops. Yeah, but some of these are going, are going to be moved to the fifth, to, to be later. And I think Metal Switch Fire on turn 5 is still a good deal. Well, it's not a great deal, but I do need creatures. Yeah, the game. creature is a creature, and Bell Switch Pike could do a lot worse. Uh. So, let's see, I think the only discussion we're gonna have is if, if we're gonna play the night wing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be the main lynch point, and um, we're definitely going to play the white cards. Yeah. And yeah. I think that cards like Ammo Transport will not make the cut, um, because it's simply a city card in this deck. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not as good as the other three drops. And yeah, but if you're if on defense, it's a better block than the shade in the beginning. Maybe. Yeah. It is. It well, is. actually, we're going to play the shade, then hit damage for one more time, and the next turn we're going to leave all our mana up, so that he will not attack into our 4-4 four, four shade, and we have removal for the other guy. That yeah, it's... Uh, okay, okay, well... Bah. Hmm. And you have to cut, so uh, three cards you have to cut. Three cards, yeah, I mean we might even consider playing 18 lands in this, because we have three shades, but if we're going to cut out the shade... Um, and prism, so it's going to be pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. say just play 17. I'd say we call out the transport, uh, call of Nightwing, and then one other card, maybe a spy. We can still keep the Demon Guild Gate in, because it is an, an extra shade card. <laughs> so it's, uh, well, mm. it's, it's not really hurting us, I think. It's one common play tap land, and it's basically come play tap swamp, which provides a bonus for three creatures in our deck. Yeah, no, okay, it's three shades. If it's only two, I'd say a common to play tap is not really worth it. No, so so we could cut these two cards and and then have, have it like this. I mean, it's not like a second shade is going to add a lot to the board. It's only if it dies, but then you'll still have to face down. Well, the we could attack with price. one shade and have the other one on defense for all the mana that goes up. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer a shade over a spy, yeah, but it's yeah, it's pretty close. I agree. So whatever you want. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think the shade is a bit better than a spy. Yes, um, we have less simply because it, it's uh, it's so much better in the late game than the Battlefield Spy is. Yeah. And we already have enough four drops, so the spies are going to lose a bit in value. Yeah. So just cutting the spy and just boarding it in against the deck with the flyers or uh, right. Oh, right. Just like the deck. Deck. And then we have it a little bit like this. Yup, I have a problem. <coughs> okay. We didn't have enough disagreements. Oh no, that means we should create those in the games. I think we should play uh, Zama Guildmage. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think we can splash that. I mean, maybe later. Yeah, <laughs> so it's the game two and three when it's getting too easy. Yeah. Okay. All so right. uh, this is the deck, and uh, we'll see you in the first match. Woohoo! Woo! Okay. So welcome to the first match. Um, we had a we very close call already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we forgot to put basic lands in our deck. And we found out at the 20 second mark, so we can put them in and... Uh, Plenty of So, time. if you wanted to know our mana base, we're playing uh, 3 planes and 14 scums in this deck. So, uh, we want the die roll and we'll play first with the deck, I sure. guess. Yeah. It, I consider taking the draw if you play against a, a, a less... Uh, against, a, against a not so fast deck. Uh, simply because we can just trade everything one for one and then win with the pictures. Unless it's a blue deck that has card advantage. Yeah. Uh, Key band. Yeah, this this is pretty big. Well, we have, we have like both of our colors. That's already, already pretty good. That's good. And, and the death approach is pretty good with the two spies. And yeah. <coughs> Alright, Scooching and Swing will do something on turn two apparently. Whoa, I'm not going to swing that. <laughs> well, nah, maybe not. Like no, no, some tempo loss if you don't. Yeah, maybe, maybe if he has mad cap skills. Yeah, okay, let's see what happens. We can do the end of turn anyway. What's happening? Oh, 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 I'd so much better swing that. Mm, yeah, okay. I mean, the, 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 the Denison is going to deal uh, 4 damage right now at the most, and then he can just bump it to a spy. So I'd rather just, uh, yeah, just not waste the execution swing on it. Do you want to play the that's approach on the city one one creature in your turn? Not really. Okay. Should we? No, probably not. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the tempo loss of your item. Anyway. No but no. we're not going to play this on the one one, so we just can play the turn, right? Okay. Yeah. But it changes uh, nothing except we have certainty that we can play a spy next turn. So do we want to play the that's approach on this and kill this one when they attack? I, f I think it might be the best play if we're expecting Skynet Legionnaire here. Yeah, well, we don't have that much other removal. Could even consider playing the shape here, maybe. Nah, nah. Nah, let's just swing the halberdiers and then go from there. Yeah, and then the, the, that's the, the spy can then take over. Is, yeah, exactly. Then the spy blocks the 1-1, one, one, and the third point, uh, uh, that's approach mm -hmm. will be really good. Yeah. And there comes another mm -hmm. priority target. Yeah, exactly. It's probably going to that's approach. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he's attacking! Ah, yeah. oh, we so take damage! I'll we'll take 5. And then the turn will swing! Good sucker! Well, shade. So we just play Spy and have a blocker for whatever he's going to try and attack with. It's, it's also okay to just trade Spy for any of his attackers. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have backup, we already have 2 shades. Yeah, we want more creatures in the graveyard anyway. Yeah, and uh, we get more creatures as well. He has 2 guild mages. Mm, okay. Luckily we have a lot of people. And he's playing like Borderland labels in the market for death. Well, so. I think it's playable. It's not okay. <coughs> What's he gonna do? Make a soldier, make a soldier. Well, making a soldier is really a good move for us. That means that I he know. has nothing <laughs> he can play. And he can't attack because they can't survive. Yep. I hope he makes a soldier and the turn. Well, I'd rather he do it in his main phase than he does. He's not doing anything. Oh, he's, not doing he's gonna make a soldier. So, that's approaching another spy. That's approaching a shape. I mean, then a shape it's, can it's also swing. And, or maybe the spy can swing. Whatever you want. Well let's, let's, so let's start with a death approach. Yeah, let's, let's first do this and then kill off the guild mage. If you will probably make a token, giving him two one one attackers next turn. And the spy uh, the shade can can hold them off. I mean if you play it we have a two two shade and that can technically just block the soldier. Um then we can attack with spy. Well, we can also keep the spy back and just see you if can we play can another spy and attack with a spy. Yeah. That that's also an option. No, I think I prefer that. The three toughness can maybe important with the other dude. Yeah, let's let's see what goes with graveyard. Let's and we're we're not low enough to be afraid of active treason or something like that at this point. And there go a lot of spells for him. Let's attack. Uh, yeah, even if he has a removal, they only take two damage. So. Yeah, so that's that's not really. Uh, no. I mean, worst case scenario, he has active treason and he deals us like four or five damage, and that's, that's little totally little okay. Little little. Yeah, that's a waste of the spell at this point of the game. Yeah, and, and letting the Boris player get an extra turn is yep. probably uh, yep. a... <laughs> 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 well, at least he didn't blood rush it. <laughs> yeah, it's, 
Okay, well, I'm gonna need some shades here, I think. Yeah, <laughs> if we play shade, then it's actually 4-4 four, four on the block, so it can trade with the Wrecking Ogre. Yeah. Um, but it'll probably just trade with the Tricky Spring to throw in the Wrecking Ogre. Um, I just How many pass at the F3? Yes, 3. So I, I, I detect with one spy, so we yeah. have at least one blocker for the Ogre, should it uh, yeah. should he have a removal for, for the other one. And there's, there's no way two spies are going to block the Ogre anyway, so... Yeah. But we, we have we have to block it. If we let it come through, it'll deal us at least damage. six, but <laughs> yeah. probably twelve damage, and <laughs> there will be. Okay, that's a card to keep spell. in mind for the next game. That's yeah, a scary yeah. card. I remember. I think that was maybe against you, and I was on the sixteen life, and suddenly I was dead since I got blocked. Yeah, it's it does things like that. Our opponent has a lot of lands. We do not care. Invite the land in. Yeah, just this has another door. He's playing it for combat, so I don't know if he's even going to attack. No, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't even take time to bluff a trick against the shade. Mm. And here we have more shades. Yeah, I think just play the other shade and attack, attack with one spy. Yeah, maybe just one spy at this point. Yeah. And then so next turn we may be able to attack with one shade instead of one spy. Nah, nah. But we, we cannot fully nah, bump the exactly shade, so they, I think they're better off blocking. Yeah. yeah. And we, we want to draw a removal. And we, we played out our hand, right? We have no cards in hand, we have nothing to bluff, this is what we have, and he yeah. knows it. So he it knows it. He has a nose. It's yeah, and it's it. The game of combat. You are afraid. So here comes the Wrecking yeah. Ogre, he's no longer afraid of us having a trick, so I'm just going to trade his shade for yeah. for his trick and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine trading a shade for yes. something like Marshall Glory right now. Yeah, I mean, we have to block it anyway, otherwise... Uh, Taking 12 in the face is probably not a good idea. Yeah, or maybe <laughs> yes, something, something silly like Scorchwalker and then we just and You're gonna just pump die. one thing at a time and you're a pro. You're yeah, it's, it's not... I'm, I'm not even getting priority to respond to my own... Uh, to my own <laughs> 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 okay, <never mind>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you just... Don't say that, you're a pro. Let's see, 4-4, four, four, then we pass priority. Yeah, uh -huh. so we, we leave this one mana open yeah, to... So uh, have a trick, <laughs> Yeah. Maybe he has something to deal one damage to all of our creatures no, and he can save the shade. A trick. He has a trick. And it's massive raid for four damage on our shade. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's like like the worst, <laughs> worst trick he could have. Okay. Um, we could pump it and make it 5-5 five, five and make it survive and die to first strike damage, but I think it's pretty pointless. I'd rather keep him out of open too. Yeah. It works. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. T -t 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 and we draw removal swamp. Uh, it's a swamp. We can play out swamp. And make a bigger shader, we can keep it back to bluff. I don't think the. We already have six pumps, so it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. We don't really need the extra pump, but you know, it's not bad to have it. Let's see, I'm still attacking mm -hmm. spy. I think so. If he has something to remove the shade, then he has to leave it on the board. Pretty much. I mean, it's not like they're going to win this game if we take 11 damage. Yeah. No, of course not. I'm just more like. Uh, at some point, if he's at uh, below 7-ish, uh, then uh, Shade can, uh, can kill one creature mm. at a time. Yeah. Too. But, no, but then the Directing Ogre will kill one yeah, creature yeah, at a time. No, no, sorry, side, so uh, <laughs> never mind. We're gonna attack with a Spy. I'm just dreaming a bit. Uh, and know, then uh, that's why all my games take so long. Yeah, though. it's... Uh, I'm just thinking a bit and I... Oh no, that's silly. <laughs> so, mind. do we want to play this one? Or no, no. no. It's, let's keep it back and at least keep him afraid of maybe aggressive spectacle. Yeah, whatever. He has already yeah. seen the execution swing, so he knows we play removal. And maybe he's thinking it's a double white card and we're just really drawing badly with our oh, I don't think we're going to trick him anyway, but hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just... He's, he's not even attacking. Now we want to play a swamp. Yeah, it's uh, playing the planes is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just playing the planes, flag <laughs> La la la. Oh, I like this game. Where it's going? <laughs> we're yeah, not playing like anything. We're not playing anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or five more turns and we win. Okay, maybe tricky, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I think he accidentally skipped past his first main phase. First main phase? What? Yeah, he just he, he went immediately to the beginning of combat. Oh. And uh, oh, there's a creature that could potentially fly. He has another land. Hey! It's uh, exactly what we were hoping for. So. Right now, we'll, we'll just keep up the facade and attack with one spy yeah. and see if we can get a really good combat step out of this. Maybe play the planes as yeah, well? It's, uh, yeah, it's a good thing that we can put one extra mana in the shape. Yeah. Alright. Oh, well, now the game is ours, let's see. Yeah, we have, a, we have a 6 6 shape, we have a spy. Uh, you can't all out attack us because then we'll just kill him with the shape. Let's see what happens. Oh no, it's a legionnaire. <laughs> Please not. attack with a legionnaire. Uh, and that makes combat interesting. See what he does. Yeah, he does. he's probably going to attack with with a lot of. He's going to keep the token and then even behind to block the shade or something like that. One, two. Oh, he's 
He is just gonna play silly. Yeah, he's, <laughs> if he does attack with Ragnarok, we know for sure he's bluffing, so... <laughs> 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 ah, there it comes. Uh, it was just... Yeah, well, I had a soldier. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Let's see, do we win next turn? Or yes? Oh, can we, if we can leave this package for the soldier, then we win next turn. Yeah, if, <laughs> if the shade survives. Yeah, but it's going to take six damage, at least from the Wrecking Ogre, yeah. if we decide to block it. We could do something fancy and just throw the spy in front of the Sky Knight Legionnaire and block uh, the Wojak Helpeteers with the shade. Um, and see if he has a trick for the Wrecking Ogre, but then we can't kill the soldier. Uh, you know they can't see your fingers, right? No, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the things that you said. I'm pointing out for myself. I mean, I'm not so quick for as you. Are. And I think we still need to block the old. Yeah, and, and see which trick he has. Let's see, two, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can make a seven, seven. This so we better have yeah. a trick. Um, where's that trick? So we'll just put this one there. We'll put this one there. Mm. And he has eight damage for us. So if he has a scorch marker or something, we'll have to play the grizzly spectacle and probably lose the shade. But it will at least trade with the ogre. So mm -hmm. then he still is... Well, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I mean, we're going to pump our shade that it's 4-4, four, four, and then he'll be like, uh, first strike damage, okay, actual yeah. damage, you're not doing anything? Mm -hmm. I don't trust it. Um, but we're still getting a pretty good deal here, I see. Yeah, but we could also just go for safe and um, kill the, the Wrecking Ogre with the good spectacle anyway, and, ah, yeah. kill, and kill off this guy. It will take a lot less damage. Uh, we won't accidentally die because he has a trick, takes out the shade, and we'll be left with two spies against his helper here to skyjack. Could even see if he is gonna. Yeah, I, I think, think I like that. So I think this is a battle plan. The only the only card we lose from here is um, is Boris Charm. If he makes everything indestructible, we'll just lose the Wrecking Ogre. But uh, he still won't be lethal this turn. Yeah. So we still have another turn to top deck and remove. And the we still have a shade and alive, and I think that's pretty important actually at this stage. Yeah. So we'll we'll just keep it like this yeah. and see what it does. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll make him four four. four, four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he priorities. La, 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 yeah, now we have to la, wait la, la, la. on his priority every time. Yeah, that's okay. And we're taking a bit longer because we're discussing everything, so he's probably yeah. being bored while we're taking... He was like, whoa, we must be playing with two people there, because they're so slow. Uh, wow, wow, I don't expect that from y uh, York. He's always such a quick yeah, player. No, it's 4-4. Four, four. Um, we can play the Spectacle now, or we can wait and pass... Three, well, we'll four, take five, first five damage and pass priority right now, so let's yeah. just kill it now. Yeah, I agree. That's not you. Oh, there it goes. He doesn't even have anything. He pre probably pressed F6 and skipped everything out. Yeah. Uh, we milled the two lands and Warmind infantry, so not really valuable cards to know. Uh, there go his creatures, huh? and <laughs> he's left with... Hey! Um, hey! Yeah, oh, can this, we, uh, this no, we cannot uh, win this. Ah, this turn. Let's see. Let's it do it. We'll have 5-5 uh, five, five shade. Yeah, it's, it's a win this turn if he doesn't have a trick. If he does have a trick, mm -hmm. he'll deal us 4 damage on the back string and we'll, we'll, we'll win <laughs> next turn. So <laughs> it's, it's a pretty safe bet that this is going to win us the game. Yeah. I'm not sure if I would have played this way on the pot or that way. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I think it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to win yeah. this. I mean, he has one card left. Of course, that should of be course. the removal for if it was, uh, If it was a tricky, we would have played it ages ago. Yeah. Alright, yay! Okay, so we won the first game. There's nothing in here that I think we would sideboard. No. Uh, we have the, the, the last battle straight spy, but in these guys weren't all that impressive. Maybe so. the spy is in this game better than the enforcer. Well, maybe even the oldest in the ranks is better. He has two Sunham guild mages. <laughs> Well, if, if we were low on removal, yeah. Um, if we were low on removal, but on the other hand, the devour flashes are becoming pretty much le worth less than they are. If he has an active guild mage, but if he has an active guild mage, we're losing anyway. So, yeah, I think we have enough for removal to just kill the guild yeah, mage on spot and then uh, d still have useful cards in the devour flash. Otherwise, but on the other hand, if we draw the illness in the ranks, okay, that's the name. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't have a guild mage, then we suddenly have a death card. And yeah, and then the, the guild mage still needs time to conquer our deck. Yeah. And uh, we do have decent de late game in the form of a portal that he can't stop, and we have flyers on Buckwalk -buck creatures which he doesn't have. So. Yep, we're just gonna win this. There's no yeah, option. It's, uh, yeah, that's the only option. Yep. Yeah. Let's see, we'll three planes is uh, good, right? I mean, yeah, we, we took like two seconds to discuss that since we were in the middle of a hurry. But yeah, but, uh, but it's no. okay. Yeah, we're on the draw. So we'll yeah. just mill it. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the draw, yeah, so this, uh, this is better. We yeah. have a lot of lands, we have removal and a spy. And we have the planes. We're so lucky with our planes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just we're awesome. And he doesn't have a wand. Yeah, that would be would be horrible. Then we would have to devour flesh to one one guy and I really hate doing now that. Now he's gonna play a guild, Mitch <laughs> and the year in good shape. 
Dum, 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 dum. Mm. No, he doesn't have, he doesn't have shit. It's the Boros deck. Oh, let's play that. Yeah, beat that yeah. bitch. Yeah. And now he'll, he'll play a creature and we'll make him sacrifice it and then take his life back with the gun spell. Right. That's how life is, bitches. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's the fair. exact card I expected. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty okay. With Wanna play the Devour Spy or the Devour Flesh? We can't play the Spy, so we're pretty much stuck into playing Devour and Flesh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, no, no. Hey! Uh, we could have kept the planes open to bluff a smite, but we don't have any creatures to block, so it's pretty <laughs> good. Are there haste creatures in the format on the ground? Some red, white, uh, um, mana? Oh, there's a 1 1 in red. Yeah, there's. <laughs> Hey, hey! Oh well, uh, these are nearest creatures. Yeah, and our we late have game uh, came in. Door. So, are we going to attack with the gutter skull here, or are we going to keep it back to block? I mean, we already um, killed this guy at Dijonair, and it's the only haste creature we saw in the first game. Uh, I'd say we keep it back. So we we can keep it back safely to block, and then play a spy or an enforcer. I think we would play the enforcer here, um, because then we can just get along with the extorting on the um, on the spy. Um, and if he manages to attack with everything, then Spy is not going to trade for one of these if they have first strike. And the uh, Enforcer can just deal one more damage on the back swing. Yeah, or if he taps out for a haste creature, we can still double block something, uh, one of them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we'll just play the Enforcer. <coughs> yeah. Try to keep if your lungs in. Uh, your yeah, it's like every video I've done, I've either had a cold or one of my allergies playing up, so I... Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's every okay. time I make a video, I so I'm like the dumb it. guy and you're the sick guy. Yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, I've made some pretty stupid things in, in my videos. Okay. I know no. you haven't watched them all, but no. yeah, I did some. No. Ah. Yes, stuff, yo. Yeah, There's a lot of guys right now. That's not fair. You want to have a removal? Hey. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good at this game. Yes, that's why I'm winning. <laughs> How to win a PTQ, ladies and gentlemen? Top decks. So that, that doesn't um, take away that he's going to tax with everything next turn. No. Are we going to double block one of the Halberdiers? Um, let's see, we're on 18, we're on 20. We have now 5 lands. Um, yeah, in this case, we would have preferred a spy to this turn. Yeah, the yeah, other option is a backswing, but we take 9 and he takes 5, so that race will never come in. I don't think we have much. Op How much tricks did we see uh, previous? Uh, he has a Wrecking Hogger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that trick, I'm fair. And they're in a two for one. And, and okay. we saw an aerial maneuver in the, in going to his graveyard. Yeah, and we saw the, the deal damage. And, and, the, and the and the mess of rate. And that was about but it. But he only so has one card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's first play the angel of Edict on the skill base. Yes. Yeah. The that guy has to go just take that out. Um, yeah, double block. Mm -hmm. So now the question is do we want to double block one of the Helvetiers? Uh, or do we just want to deal the five what's damage? What's going to gonna happen turn? otherwise mm -hmm. next turn? If we don't double block, so then we in that case we're going to attack. But then we play a spy next turn and then yeah. we have to double block anyway then next turn. Yeah, because we'll, we can't afford to just keep the spy back and make the, the same attack because then he can have remove or exactly. freeze and just kill so us. So I think we have to double block. Yeah. So in, in the worst case scenario he loses his last card, which is a trick. Yep. Um, kills our two guys, we have to battle with Spy and take out the Skyjack and uh, if we draw a land, <laughs> land, we have to play more and I think he has the, the deal damage equal to creatures. You saw what he did? Yeah, he was tapping his mana <laughs> and then he untapped him. Yeah. So there or are, there that's are just a, a trick that everyone does. Yeah, there are people that are trying to bluff things like that. Yeah. But I don't know, um, do you know this guy? Is he a good player? I don't know. Uh, I, I, no, I don't know a lot of players on Magic Online, but um, okay. I judge them on, on their plays. And he hasn't made any any really de really bad plays in the first game. Yeah. So I think he's a decent player. Uh, I think he knows what he's doing. And uh, if this was a bluff, I think he actually drew a creature. I wanted to play it, but then was like, wait, I can still bluff stuff. Maybe he doesn't block this. I think we still have to double block. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's fine to uh, to just draw the massive raid now instead of uh, still gonna next lose turn. Run, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure we're going to lose. I mean, Spy can still keep uh, the Daring Skyjack away, and, and the Primordial yeah, okay. uh, will just swing it around again. Okay. Let's see what happens. And Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. He is thinking. Yeah, he's he's doing the first Take that, bitches. And he's letting his guy die. Okay. So he probably did draw the creature I wanted to play before combat, okay. and then realized that he should pull pull for trick first. And here it is, his cursed key benefit. Okay. That's, uh, that's okay. And here's the first land that we wanted. Yeah. So yeah. we'll just uh, take out the spy. I'm gonna take out our own spy, yo? Yeah. 
Yeah, I take it out of her hand. I put it onto the battlefield. Okay, you succeed. Yeah, I'll just set this up. We took that place from the top of the No! Anyway, okay. okay what so are the stars on the, the cards? It's a summoning sickness. Summoning sickness? Yeah, so oh, that's very useful to know. Yeah. Especially when you're not <coughs> on the turn of your own turn. What are you doing end of turn? Tapping the white he mana? He plays. He's no. Oh, that, his last card was back in apparition and now he has one one flying. Okay, so he has And uh, it, he uses it to tap one of our creatures. Yeah. Okay. So the Gutter Skull can still block this guy. If he does attack with this, we'll take 7, go down to 5. It's tricky, but it's still doable. Yeah. Uh, especially if we draw a land, we get the Primordial and we can take the Sky of Legion out of the graveyard. Mm -hmm. But of no, course, he, uh, no, he draws, the, he draws the, the best card he can draw right now. Yeah. And, um, and I, I don't think we much. have a card in our deck that can still win us the game at this point. Mm. I mean, we'll, if, if you draw... You can even draw give the plus one to zero, maybe mm. even that right now? Mm. No. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, we take 13 damage. So yeah. we're actually going to die this turn. That's not so good, Joe. Yeah. I don't want to die. Yeah, it's too bad. We're still going to. Okay, next game. <coughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Let's see, do we have any additional removal for Guild Mage in our sideboard wave? Um, I no, think everything is still good. Yeah, it's still the way it was. The good news is that we're now on the plate. So. Yeah, that's, um, that's pretty good. No Mulligan, please. No Mulligan. <coughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, we still we, we gave a good fight for a Mulligan to four cards, but it wasn't all four that. Four cards? Uh, six cards, sorry. D D we had four lands. Yes, play first. And we have this hand, and it's uh, not that bad. We have two removal spells. Let's draw a swamp under a good shape. Yeah, we have uh, two removal spells for the early game. We have some uh, some late game in the curve. So the only thing we want to do right now is just uh, draw, draw more lands. Yeah, yeah. And we're very good at that. Watch us. It's not a top okay, skill. So he's, uh, not uh, there. It is. Uh, we'll just play the <laughs> yeah, anyway. Play He's gonna play <laughs> guild mage. Now he's uh, he has two planes. So we want to kill it. It uh, costs us one life to kill it with the uh, Orzard Charm. That's and the next turn. We, next turn we can play the Death Cult Rogue. If you draw a land, you can do the Spy next. So I think it's a good deal to kill this guy. It's going to be a problem anyway. It's going to deal a lot of damage to us. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> we have plenty of removal for other stuff. In our yeah, hands. and then one life is, is really a good deal for your Orzard Charm. Right. Cost. <coughs> Cost oh, by the way, I'm singing. Yeah, you, you do it a lot. Sorry, it's my mistake. He doesn't. Oh, he does have that now. Yeah, he did the same two trick two in the two second two game. We played two yeah, mountains and he tried to true. trick us into not that. We are so confused. <coughs> okay, that's enough land deck. Thanks for doing this. We'll just uh, send this guy in. Yeah, spy, be done with it. Spy, spy. We have tempo. We are beating him. Rawr. No. Uh, oh, hey, there's one card. Ogres away. Well, if there's one card I really want to see in the graveyard, it's that one. So. <laughs> <coughs> what are you gonna do, boy? He's probably going to play a white creature, Temper Spy, and deal us deal two damage to us. Two damage. But we're still we're out in this damage range, especially with the two removal spells we're still holding. Less he is. So yes. Dum, 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 dum. It's kind of a decent error. No, it's fun like medic. It's fun like medic. We probably pass him. Nah. Although he, he wasn't the uh, player to our left, there was actually in the, in the another see. player in the Luckily, field. indestructible doesn't help minus five minus five against minus five. No, so we'll just um, we, we could also use the angelic edict. On mm, it. Yeah, mm, let's see what we do. Yeah, let's see. Devour flash. <laughs> then I'd say we go to the execution. So we might Yeah, we'll just um, attack first. With uh, attack first with both. Yeah, and then we'll uh, in uh, his attack step we'll use the flash. And use the swing on the other creature. It's flash, flash, siding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come nope. back in operation. Ah, those spawns. Yeah. <laughs> Up. Okay. I was afraid that you didn't. Did you press that six or something? No, no, no. I'm. Uh, You're a professional. Of course. I'm pretty careful about these things. No. I really hate to be tricked out. Of, uh, <laughs> of <being> like that. <laughs> yep. That was definitely so. <laughs> See what he does. It's a more light infantry. Alright, see if he can attack. So the only disadvantage here is that um, if he has something like Martial Glory, then he's going to save his medic. Uh, we but didn't see any of those. We didn't see any of those and it, it isn't really that bad of a trade. I mean he still gets to keep his medic but he loses the glory. He doesn't touch it. Now we've run out of spell. So we'll just um, 
Attack for 4, putting down T12. Are the Killing Glare ready for whatever comes our way? Well, if, if you are going to Killing Glare, the War Might Infantry. <laughs> and we are going <laughs> to Killing Glare, the War Might Infantry. <laughs> that is a very hard decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, sir. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> And that's why you don't play tricks when your opponent has mana, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that, that's uh, <laughs> what, what, I, what I wanted to say. I mean, if he's attacking with the infantry, we, we glare it, and he has something like Scorch Park, and we lose the glare, and we take a boatload of damage, so... No! Oh, and he takes out the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> and this race we will be winning. Let's see, he has one card left, we have a removal left, and we have a draw. Yeah. And that's a prism! Tum 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 tum, it's gonna be, it's gonna be... Woohoo! More removal. Yeah, I, I don't feel the need to mm, kill the spirit no. right now, so no, not at all. But we'll just leave it hanging. And we should should be aware that he can still have uh, cards that make spirit do more damage, like the magic yeah, score. Okay. If we go there. below six or so, so then we um, have to be careful, of course. But, but he's he's keeping it back right now. Oh, it, this would indicate something like a smite. Yeah. And I don't want to lose a spy at this point, so maybe we should just let's uh, let approach it now mm. and play around smite, or maybe a trick like uh, like martial glory. Um, let's think this out a bit. Smite is an option or other form spell, but we only have sorcery speed removal. So the he has one yeah. card, we have some 10, we have a clock of 5 turns. Yeah. Hmm, this is a tricky one. We, we still have a backup. Uh, if you assume that this is a defensive removal spell that he's going to use to kill the Battlefield Spy, no. then he'll be stranded with a dead card and no board, and we still have a Yeah, but if he draws a creature, then it will probably not have flying, so we can still attack them. Yeah, yeah okay, it looks silly, but I guess. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Uh, I mean, if we lose the spy now to a smite, then we are dependent on a draw if we no, want to win or not. In that, that, that case, I agree. But the other option was simply not attacking and waiting. Uh, I mean, yes, yeah, but I don't think that's a, a solid game plan against a deck with two sun and guild mages. Yeah. Okay, but you can make one guy and then you kill the guild mages. So it's not a horrible thing. Anyway, this is going uh, fine. I think. Let's see what happens. You I think we can still lose from a back draw. But oh, okay. In that case, it's going to be. Uh, yeah, in good shape. Dee 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 dee. Come I on do like how we have all of our planes. Wow. I mean, if, if, if in we. In every game we drew a plane so far. That's yeah, pretty special. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, this game's ours. Yeah, dee he, he dee might dee. still have something like Homing Lightning and kill the Battlefield Spy, and then it's just a waiting game all over again. Yeah, of course. But at, at least he's pretty low, and he has to be careful about what he's doing. And he, he drew something big. Oh, it's no. It's a towering top of I'm very much not impressed. Uh, yeah. Same here. So we can Angelic Edict the Thunderfist? Yeah, let's do that. Unless he has another stupid trick. No, he doesn't. Mm. Go away, stupid thingy. Remove you from the game. Oh no, exile <coughs> zone, sorry, sorry. There is no more. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's uh, <laughs> here we are winning. So. And here we are winning, I like that. Okay, so there's still a match going on. It's, uh, it's this one. Uh, I think this this match went pretty well. Yeah, uh, this our is deck how did we what it's supposed uh, to do. Yeah. He did have a very good Boros deck. Up oh, there goes the match, so we can just leave his finger running. <laughs> um, he did have a very good Boros deck. He had two <laughs> Sunom Guild Mages. He was lacking in the trick department. I mean, if he had a Martial Glory at one point, he probably could have swung the first game, or maybe even the third game in his favor. Yeah, but well, he yeah, um, had other tricks, and you know, of course, that trick didn't really uh, help against us. The plus one, plus one, first strike flying. Yeah, it's uh, we were lucky. But to also the Martial Glory. The yeah, that's true. We were a bit lucky that we drew the Killing Glare there. But yeah, we have so much removal. And we had to be lucky, basically. Yeah, it's right. it's there's no other way. It's no other way. <laughs> so D -D -D. Let's on. see what the other did. He won pretty fast in two games. This guy lost his first one too, so. And this guy won in 12 minutes in two games. So uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I know how important <laughs> it is. I mean, if you play against the, the Yugi Must player, he probably, he probably has, has an aggressive deck because he finishes games already. The, the second game. Yeah, he more Boros players to Yeah, I think it might be Boros, but it might be. Um, Simic, I saw uh, another side one. Of, one. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of experiments won in the, in the draft. A bit experimenting, <laughs> eh? Hmm. So it's just... Uh, there were also unexpected <coughs> results. 
like this game. Yeah, and then someone picked it because it didn't table. <laughs> didn't? <laughs> okay, that guy is out probably now. <laughs> yeah, or, or maybe the booster was so shallow that he just took the rare and was like, I'm going to money drop this. I think we had uh, still a death's <laughs> approach of that booster when it cycled back to us. No? I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, but it's a uh, death's approach is a card that a lot of people have fighted on. Mm -hmm. uh, j just like me, there are a lot of players who don't well, really like it. It's not a like great it. card, but I still think it's better than, say, unexpected results. Yeah, it is. But if you're not in black, then yeah, you're of just course, going to take a card that's worth all six right, cents. All right. You have a point. Six cents. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it's a uh, card on Magic Online. Are like the cards in your garbage can. Let's yeah. see what's in here. Yeah, Peel from reality. Proxies. Proxies? Yeah, yeah. Proxy somebody wrote something reality. on the back. It's a Vashka. Right. Um, tam 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 tam. Zero seconds left. So, uh, what's uh, how's your life been, Neil? Well, it's pretty average. I've been drafting a lot, doing these videos for Magic Eighty. Oh, must be boring. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's, it's such a chore doing these things. Well, here we have the. the you, you want the die roll? He's going to close down this one again. And he's falling asleep. <coughs> it's too bad. I also like sleeping, but not during the draft. Yeah, th there are some side effects to sleeping during the draft. Um, Luckily, we're with the two of us. You want to yeah, take a nap? No, 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 no I'm okay, fine. Okay, I'm okay. Fine. I still have all evening out of me. <laughs> what? You mean you start sleeping at the 4 a.m. or what? Uh, well maybe a bit later. You know. okay, it's, okay. Uh, it's not like I have a job to go to the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. And there's our hand. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> double stoke. Woohoo! Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's keepable, I think. Yeah, it's keepable. Ah, we so have been so lucky with drawing our lucky yeah, planes. Well, our first draw will be a place. We're on the draw anyway, so... Should we add an additional planes? I mean, there are so many swamps anyway. Ah, we have three shades. So yeah, we, we have the shades, and that's a really big deal for them to have a plane on the table. Yeah, it could also be <laughs> a problem if we don't draw planes for the next four turns. And yeah, but um, still having an Orsop Charm and not being able to cast it in the first six or seven turns is no big deal, usually. I mean, even in aggressive format like that, we have a lot of moves we can cast, and mm -hmm. with cards like the Goddess Goats and the Spice, we can usually hold out until it comes. <coughs> Look, man, I have a rat. Yeah, and he has a goblin, so they'll probably trade. Yeah, or he wants to waste a trick on it, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> perfectly fine trading Goddess Goat for a blood, a blood can charger <laughs> or something like that. It's, uh, it cannot even evolve, dude. Ah! Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good card. <laughs> but still, it's not as good as it could be. I mean, it will still force the Goblin Skull to trade with the Goblin. Um, yeah, let's, let's go off lane here. Well, mm. let's or just, you know, well, killing there. Plus one, you didn't draw anything for yeah, Plus one, you revealed something, I think, because we got a... Uh, ah, you So now we have the option of playing the Killing Glare on the Goblin and doing two damage to Dominirata. Um, or just attacking, trading this, playing the cutter scope. I'm a bit <coughs> doubt. It's, it's very likely that we will have a bigger creature in our scope next turn, and we can trade uh, the minus two for fighting. Yeah. Um, but if you already have it down to two loyalty at this point, of course that helps a lot. Yeah. Or we can play spy <coughs> oh no, spice next turn. Yeah? Spice next turn. And then I think we're forced to keep the pressure on since the plane water still. So we'll, like we'll just kill the goblin. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so. And uh, and attack. Mm -hmm. That means he at least won't be able to fight. So if he has a guy that's bigger than the god skulk, he can't use his dummy rather to kill the god skulk. Mm -hmm. And we can still top like a plane, so one of the other moves plus to take care of the creature and get dummy to one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but maybe he doesn't even have a bigger creature and just going to play his watcher or whatever he's going to draw from the dummy rather right now, but mm -hmm. he failed that one. So, and now he has 3 mana, that's IV. Th th this guy um, is going to be a problem though. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 still has, he still has the green side watcher, so it will be 3-4 next turn that can kill any creature we have. But, but luckily, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Unless we just have a good deck and we draw everything from the top. Jeez, I, I want to do more drafts with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't know how I was winning, eh? but if this is the way you... Yeah, this is... You know, so some, sometimes I ask myself, how did that guy win two national championships? Yeah, but this is the answer. Is, yeah. I mean, at one point I felt unlucky since I was uh, stuck on three lands and I had four, uh, four drops in hand in the finals. But it didn't matter since all my other dudes on the board were still winning. He, he got a Carcanura from his... Uh, oh. 
Like the Wisdom Revival. Crocodile. It's basically the best card he would have because with the Watcher yeah. it's still two blockers. Yeah. So we need your magic once again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that two t uh, turns in a row, I'm afraid. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's okay. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm underestimating myself still, huh? <laughs> This guy's like, what the fuck is <laughs> happening to me? <laughs> uh, he loses the uh, slot hour in the mountain. Okay. So uh, we'll just uh, we'll just take out the reward for sure. Now he has the option to trade the watcher for one of the skulls. If he he wants did to. draw two additional cards from his space walker, right? Yeah. So we're still not in a very good shape. But no, but he has only two cards left. Oh really? So what happened? Uh, what the fuck? I think he might have mulliganed. Let's check the log. Yeah, uh, he mulliganed. He mulliganed the six no, cards in okay. the play. So no, we're, we're still pretty even. He has another. He has one card in hand. And once we hit seven, we have over here in the game. And so now yeah. we draw planes, of course, and then that's it. Then. No, oh, it, it's a swamp. So Sorry, unlucky. you're stuck to this point. But we're still. He's he's not doing anything. The charger can best for this uh, this fly. Mm -hmm. Now we take out removal, a solid yeah. creature, and a land. That's so fine. That's so fine. And we're still on 20 life, so yeah, this is Yeah, we good. have all the time in the world, and once we get to playing the Primordial, we can take creature in his graveyard. Up, he's trading his Brawl Charm for a spy, it's okay. Yeah, he can attack. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a damage. Uh, this race, so we're losing the long, long to him, but uh, oh, that's a bit. Yeah, but, but we can take it. We still have time. We have four white sources in the deck, so Gems yep. and Paragma are Charge. getting pretty, uh, pretty big. Charge! It also means that you know. <laughs> let's see, uh, how many swamps did he play? Twelve. No, no. Uh, we have uh, fourteen uh, swamps. Fourteen minus five, but we still basically have nine dead draws at this point. <coughs> well, no, because e every land is good for a memorial. Yeah. I mean, if we do land, land, and it's swamp, swamp, then we're we're still in, in pretty okay shape, okay. depending on what oh. he draws. Okay. Well, that is not that good. Got this guy. Um, the question is, will we attack the Skulk or will we keep mm, it back? I think, we'll keep it back. Yeah, I, I think it's okay to trade the Skulk for the Goblin. I don't think he has a Blood Rush creature right now, so we could try and double click and the Charger. Does, then that's okay. Oh, double click the Charger. Yeah, but, uh, but it, it's a risk. I mean, we lose. We lose. They have a chance We're of losing. We're still on 16 lives, so <coughs> and, and let's play, trade a Skulk for the Goblin and be done with it. Just keep his, his damage face down and then see mm. if we can get. Uh, that white mana or just two lands to your Steamer Guild Gate. So we actually have only 13 swamps and a Steamer Guild Gate. Yeah. Well, at least we didn't draw that as seven lands. Oh, you could have locks and. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be a bit of a bummer, a swamp and then the Guild Gate. And so, what creature are we going to take over from this? Well, it doesn't have a lot. It's looking like either Ivan Denison <laughs> or something like the Amber Beast. Amber Beast or the one. The, the, the crocodile. Uh, yeah, the crocodile. The crocodile. It's is not growing in our deck. Yeah. It's not really yeah, bigger. It does block the thing. Okay. Well, yeah, but um, technically, Te there are. Uh, technically, we're winning the race now. Yeah, <laughs> there, there are other creatures in this graveyard that can, that can block the charger. Yeah. And the, the, the Denison can do that too, and it has one more power. And we have the Amber Beast, which can technically block as well. And don't forget for Immortal itself, which is still there. Mm. <coughs> yeah, Amber Beast is a bit awkward since you then also have to block or something. Hey! There we go. Um, so oh no, we cannot do the explore. Yeah, that, uh, but we are going to take Corkanura. I think it, it's, it's think better so. than, than the Denizen, even though it starts out with one less power. If you draw a creature, it'll probably get bigger. Yeah, that's reach. Um, so and the Ember Beast is, uh, is probably too clunky, as you said, because you yeah. need another blocker. We could even consider <coughs> waiting for an additional turn, but. Yeah. Nah, probably not worth it. He's so not doing uh, anything, and we have a good blocker. And just see if we can pull out another trick by attacking with these two guys. Yeah, let's do that first. <coughs> There are some double tricks you can pull, like Axis Freezing this guy and I think a Blood Frost creature to, um, to still kill us. Yeah. But I think that's, you know, we're going to lose again anyway, yeah, so. Exactly. There are always ways that you can lose. I think that's a bit extreme if you want. Oh no. Uh, yeah, but we won't be able to extort. And. Some counter. Right. So we'll take the Corpora. Yeah. <coughs> Crocodile. Uh, we'll be winning this game with two dead cards in hand, Joe. 
Yeah, yeah but just mean, maybe he has two blue cards. If, if we draw a plane, we can just return this one to our hand and take another creature. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I rarely uh, use that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> He just wow, we change. just went through Planeswalker, that was pretty good actually. Yeah, he... Um, but we did draw two or three removals in a row. That yeah, was also we, pretty we were pretty lucky with our Welcome to the Snyderwind gang. So we're playing against him. Uh, do we want the extra Bellastrade Spy? Did you already remove it or was it in a oh, it's in a this sideboard? It, it was in a yeah. sideboard. We deemed it um, let's see, what, do we, what did we see kind of creatures? Well, he just had a lot of straightforward uh, gold creatures. He showed Krokonura. But uh, he, he showed a lot of creatures that the Syndicate and Force of can't handle. Actually, why are we not playing the 3-4? I mean, you already can say that we're playing a lot of 5 drops, as in multiple spies and... Uh, what's the other one? The 3-2 three three creatures and forces? The force and all spies. And then maybe if we trade one of them for a uh, horror of the Dim, I mean, it's a bit silly card, but... Yeah, it's it still better stats. It has better stats than one of these guys. And yeah. uh, I think the Syndicate of Force will probably just bite the dust against most cool creatures. We saw the Charger, yeah. it trades with the Goblins. So yeah, actually, uh, uh, he has a Ghoul Charger. So maybe we want to take out one of the spies? Instead of uh, uh, a Force. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. So mm -hmm. I agree that 3 2 is actually worse stats than 2 3 against the Ghoul deck. But now, well, we can just be careful not playing multiple spies against them. Yeah, and he might have Homing Lightning. Uh, it's a card oh, to consider, yeah, and if yeah. he's playing red, we're playing three spies, so... Okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's keep like this. Uh, the, the Enforcer's probably a bit worse than uh, than the Spy, but but it's okay. And we have blue mana to yeah, give it have, hexproof. Uh, the, this complete train wreck of a hand. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot going for it, but at least, you know, you have something that looks like a curve against it, even though it's it's really bad curve. Yeah. We're on the draw, so... I think we keep... Well, I would actually consider this mulligan in this. Okay. We are lacking our second color. We don't have any action. If, mm -hmm. if he plays um, one of the, the better ghoul creatures, or maybe he goes uh, goblin into Amber Beast, and we're just standing there with our pants down because this hand does nothing against it. Uh, we're about to draw a removal. No. Okay. Oh, we, we, we could try. We're, we're one hour ahead, so. No, let's roll a die. Let's roll a die. Yeah, that's the best way to do this. Oh, okay, flip a coin <coughs> in this case. So, let's see. On so, that's not folks, don't do this at home. That's we're gonna keep his hand. And that is hand. That's, uh, that's hand. So, okay. we're gonna keep his hand. Sorry if we're gonna lose this game, yup. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we, we flipped the coin for it, so... Don't, don't ever flip a coin for a mulligan decision, just think about <laughs> it. <laughs> what? Think about it? Yeah, think about your mulligan decisions. Oh, come on. But, you know, we, we're not perfect role models, so... I not want to be a perfect role model. Yeah, there you go. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tough luck. <coughs> ah! Okay. okay, our okay. pants are down. <laughs> no, we have to cut a scout. It can yeah. just decently block it. Somehow. No, no, not a swamp. Okay. No, we're already regretting our decision. Yeah, see, that, that's why you don't flip coins for mulligans. You okay. just think about it rationally and decide to be one or two things. Um, but he, he doesn't have any follow up, mm. so. For now. We'll just take the one damage, and next turn he can play a bigger creature, and we still have the Gato Skull to trace the experiment one, so that's okay. I like it that you tapped it for blue. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it was on top. So. Let's not have a placewalker in our head. Oh, actually, that's not so bad. No, if point. he has Don Rivera right now, that is, that's pretty okay. He's <laughs> 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 like, again, the Skull No, no that, that's. Uh, okay, if we have to draw a removal or things. <laughs> yeah. The, the, there's actually pretty good odds for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah. Or we draw the worst card possible. That's also an option. <laughs> okay. No, I'll just attack back with the cattle skull. Okay, we should have not been to R. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, this is a pretty horrible draw for what we have. For what we have. That's but true, yeah. but still. Maybe the the deck is just pointing out to me this way, like yeah, yeah, you cannot do it. Maybe we're going to draw the dead approach next. Yeah, so. yeah. So I, we had all the luck in the previous game. So, yeah. Oh, so you, you, I should just send you home? Is that what you're saying? Um, no, it swings back per game. So next time oh, I'll okay. be really lucky yeah. again. And then we'll be on the play against the Quillback. Uh, so. Of course, of <laughs> course. Although against his deck, we might actually consider just taking the drop. He isn't very aggressive, and we could really use the extra card to just trade off. He still doesn't have a creature to go with this. Yeah, That's maybe he has a, a, like a 3 run creature. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe he's just a bad player. Maybe he's just an idiot. Okay. Well, at least we can now just block the experiment one 
Or perhaps the girlfriend on Amateur. And uh, make him lose one of them. Yeah. Okay. But it, it is really looking really bad. If he has a removal spell right now or a combat yeah. rate, then we'll just lose. Uh, the question is, which one do we want to try and block? Um, I think the... Uh, I think Experiment 1 is the better pick, because if he has uh, a trick, then we'll still take the trample damage from the Rampager. Yeah, if he has, and if he has a removal, the other guy still kills the Experiment 1, so let's block that. Yeah, but he probably has something like the Charger. Yeah, we're probably screwed, I agree. Yeah. Okay. He's like... <laughs> Or he's like, whoa, he's such a pro. Oh, he's going to deal with that. Hey. And we're just, we're just getting a straight up to the two. And he has nothing left. <coughs> Shit. That is. It, 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 it's it's four actually 4-4 four four. Four next turn. So we could trade it for the Rampager. And I think we should try. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we lose to any tricks. So <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have anything. He has a number beast. Okay, now we're definitely going to trade this if he attacks. Well, that, that's also no. okay, then we have a gigantic shape next turn. Yeah, yeah. Let's draw a plane, so then we're in really good shape. Nope, we draw a death cult rogue. And you can, yeah, but it still has a 5-5 five, five shape. Yeah, so, so we'll just have to play it as, you know, no, we'll, we'll at least have two blockers, so we don't lose to any randoms or dust swine or something like we that. We should have blocked the uh, rampager maybe a few turns back, since now we, next turn we could have then taken it with the... With ah, he's going to kill us this one. Ah, okay, that also works. Yeah. Too bad. <coughs> okay. Otherwise you could have taken the rampager uh, next time. Yeah, this is... Uh, okay, that's all. Sorry, you're... Yeah, we're, we're not keeping hands like that anymore. Alright. <laughs> but uh, I think it's nice to, to just to end this video show why it's bad to flip coins for... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to flip a coin again. You're free to flip a coin. Okay, I'm thanks. making all the mulligan decisions. That's fine. I uh, just want to flip a coin. So, what do you think it will be? Uh, well, we just had hats, so this has yes, got to be tails. Yeah, it's, it's statistically. Uh, and you're totally right, yeah, of course. I, I yeah. studied economics, so yep, I know yep, a bit yep, about yep. You know these things. Yeah. And here we go. Play first. Play well, first. do you want to play first or do you want to draw up the extra card? No, if you have a plane walker, then I think you need to have a pressure walker. Okay, so we'll just take the play. We'll take this, uh, this horrible, horrible, horrible <laughs> hand. Um, Are you making the decisions here? <laughs> yeah, but um, we're on the play. And our cards are significantly better than the two we had last game. I mean, the gateway shape with five swamps is still an appropriate threat. The Death Cult Rogue is still an unblockable creature, if he has Tommy rather. So I think this is loads better than Gunner Skull, and they get a Forcer. And we're at turn faster because we're on the play, so we're just keeping this and see where it goes. We can still have the same Death Horrible Drought we had last game, but at least we'll have game in the creatures we already okay. have. A set at least we have a flip of well. coin, so that's also in our favor. Yeah. 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 It's a coin flipper, so... Uh, Titi, oh. that's why we did it twice. Titi, titi, main phase. Do that. Draw something useful. Yup. Yeah. yeah. Not too draw. You're at the gun ribbon. You're drawing on curved creatures. <coughs> Next turn will be on spot removal. Or is gonna bold it? No. No, he probably has, has a goblin or something like that. Oh, and it's a goblin. I think the rope over the. Shade? Yeah, um, let's, yeah, let's not expose the shade to yeah. to his first removal spell. I mean, if he has a dummy rider and he's playing as defensively as possible, clearing the board where he can, and if he has removal spell for death cult rope, that's okay. And if he can hang on to his shade, it's going to be bigger than, than his guys, especially with the swamps we have. He's trying to trade. Yeah, he's trading he's it, which trade. is uh, uh, a, good, uh, a good deal for us, but it's also a sign that he's counting on his hand being better than ours. Which it probably is, considering that ours is three lands. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. Yeah, hey. cracking around, that does nothing. Cracky cracky. I'm gonna be his face. Here we have our all star horror of Dim. Let's see, otherwise it would have been a 2 2 spy. In this case, it's <laughs> Yeah, the spy wouldn't be attacking anyway either, so yeah, yeah, yeah. at least the horror can still block. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. Maybe we can bash his face with a shade for the next few turns. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, probably a slaughter one. horn. Another horn, another slaughtering. Well, it's, it's actually pretty okay for him to have slaughter horn. I mean, we have a, um, 
a 6-6 six, six shape next turn. Yeah, we attack and then play the horror probably. Yeah, that seems like the best plan. Yeah. And stop drawing swamps yet. Yeah, it's okay, we have shape. You, you could actually consider just giving him 8 and putting him on 10. I mean, it's not like he's going to race us with this. I think actually at this point still prefer the uh, it's Yeah, it's, it's an extra attacker, so it's... Uh, yeah, he takes an additional damage this turn. And just keeps the pressure on the uh, player. Yeah, and if you draw a move for the Park and the Ride and the Horror can just attack into the Skull of Horror without dying, so that's okay. Mm. And if you draw the Demon Gilgate or Threat Prison, we'll have a nice powerhouse. <laughs> I just prefer a removal spell. Yeah, I'm yeah, not so a happy with how this Oh, we can draw the Prison Man and removal spell. Oh, of course. Let's do that. Thanks, proof. Imagine him having the dummy rada and just knowing that it's going to die every turn. Ah, oh, come yeah. on! Against this deck, we have to kill him, yo. Yeah, we're gonna draw a removal. But he, he put it on the Krokonura and that's okay. I mean, the Krokonura can block the shade. Why is he putting it on the Krokonura? Now it won't be full through. Uh, uh, that's why. <laughs> oh, he's pit fighting the horror. Mm, and he's yeah. going to try and win the race. Well, if you draw a removal, that is very good. Yeah, then, then we're winning the race anyway. And if we don't. And if we don't, then we draw this guy. Um, um, so we're is there anything in his graveyard? A stupid goblin. Yeah. But but it's it's we only have six mana, so we can't play it yet. Ah, the problem no. is that if he has a swine or a scorch walker, we're just dead next turn to Sparknara. So, so we block his uh, slaughterhorn with our rogue, and then let the shade attack for six this turn. Well, if we do that, and he has a Zerta swine, then we die. So he, he can have a swine, he can have a scorch walker, he can. Uh, uh, what what is your plan? Double well block the uh, Krakenura here. We'll not attack and then double block Krakenura and. Then still die to the swine since he kills both of our guys and then we lose. Well, we'll still trade the swine, the Madcap kills, and the Krakenura for the shape and the death will break. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, then there's, there's a 6 here, so actually these are 6 months. So oh there's a 7, 7, so we have 9, 9. Yeah, and the plus 5 plus 4, that means the Krakenura will also die. Then he leaves, uh, then he has the Slaughterhorn and we come back with the Primordial. The Primordial takes Krakenura and we're basically back in the game. Okay, no. Yeah, I'm in general more of a defensive player, so I'm not uh, giving you an argument for it. Okay, so we'll just play. I mean, I, I see the value of attacking with the gateway shape, but no. it's it's a gamble of winning. Yeah, we pass two swines very late, so... Yeah, and, and there's also the chance that he just plays a blocker, deals us five damage with Krokonura, and plays a blocker, he keeps Slaughterhorn back, mm. and we can't win next turn. If we, even true. if we draw a removal spell, we need to play Mana to get Slaughterhorn to die, and then the shape won't be... Uh, <laughs> no, he will kill our shade next core. turn! <laughs> what?! Uh, <no> <laughs> oh man, really? <laughs> this kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, and if we play the Primordial now, then we can get the Skin Brand Goblin back and... Bleah! This is not going well. No, I mean, this, this yeah, are yeah, yeah, these are But uh, I still think we should just pass a turn. No, if he... What will happen next turn? He attacks with everything, kills our dead cold rogue, and then we cannot block the Kokonura. Oh yeah, and we take a lot of damage from, from that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's why we're in such trouble. Yeah, but, but I think we have the alternative. Well, play the thingy, have a two, an additional 2 1 blocker, and then. Uh yeah, and then he attacks with everything, he shoots the shade and the goblin with his oh, bomb and the corpse. Goblin. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. are still left with a 5 for a 2 2. Uh, yeah, he also kills the goblin, of course. Mm. But that's, that's a bit of a awkward situation. And we can keep this back, Still and if he attacks, he'll shoot down the rogue. He can pump this up and take out Slaughterhorn, take 7 and go to 3. And then next turn play the Primordial, get Slaughterhorn back and at least have, have blockers again. I mean, we'll, we'll lose to anything that he has right now, so... Ah, uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's see. The alternative is that we play it, he shoots both guys. We double block the Kukamura, who can then... Uh, probably kill the memorial. He still has those two we'll on the board. Yeah, we'll be left with a death cult rogue and have yeah. these three creatures, and we'll be at five life. <coughs> so and it's the life is going to be a problem no matter what. Yeah. Okay, swamp go then, I guess. Yeah, I already did the swamp part, so it's just go. And then, okay. and then maybe he misclicks or something. <laughs> <laughs> or shoots mm. us instead. I of think our, uh, all our luck backfired this game. I mean, it's. Yeah. Hmm. 
He has two life spells in hand, otherwise he would have played more land. But it, it could be just stupid creatures. Or <laughs> roll charm. Yeah, or we just die. Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, then in that case, at least it wouldn't have mattered. Wah, wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, we'll never know what does. would happen <laughs> if... Uh, uh, he's, he's shooting us with, uh, with the bomber corpse as well. And then we blink our guys and... Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit before we did us. So, um, well, that's it. It's uh, a bit of a, a dead draw in the second and third yeah, games. Yeah, but, but uh, the second game, uh, we will never know what happens if you would have not in there, of course. But, uh, no, but uh, I think that... Um, this deck was pretty good, of course. I mean, uh, yeah. also the first game we had to draw three removals in a row to actually win. And um, yeah, what can we say? We yeah, lost. It's, it's sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> even I lose. Yeah, even you lose. It's, it can be helped. So. All right. That okay, was so it, that guys. Was it, that was it. This was uh, Ruben. This was me. And uh, I hope we hope you enjoyed this video. And we sure did. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time.